Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, September the 27th of 2022. Sometimes it is not easy to live in two dimensions at the same time, to be a multidimensional being open as light and spirit and functioning in the practical world. I had a couple of those days when it just feels like I'm stripping the gears, trying to move back and forth between one and the other. And all the time knowing that this is part of my learning process of what it means to be both. This morning, I had a lovely experience at the Desert Museum. It was my heart open, um, knowing that I was creating these beautiful domes of energy, um, along with many, many, many other uh, people, um, helping spirits, everything else, to nurture broad areas. <laughs> all living beings in, in regions and giving, um, having that vivid sense of offering senses of worthiness and capacity and resilience and healing of trauma and whatever might be needed that was for any one, any living expression that wanted to draw upon it, to have it come into their energy system in a way that fit perfectly for them. Nothing imposed, nothing assumed, just available. And it was just, and I did have a few moments during that, that experience at the museum when I would get a text and, Okay, so the plans for the weekend with um, a visit with family members needs some more fine tuning. Okay, that, okay, we'll do that later. Um, there's somebody who's coming to do some work at the house and that needs to be scheduled. And okay, no, I can't quite give you a yes or no on that yet. That'll have to come later. And then stopping and having the oil changed on the car and having somebody sit down and go through the whole list of other services that they could give. And, you know, oh, and this is 89.95 and that's 75 and this is 42. And, you know, and, 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 you know, this looks like it could use this and the factory says that this needs that and having to come back and go, I want a simple oil change. I just want a simple oil change. And having that be very honored that I was not being pressured, but just that way of more and more and more being offered. And then I realized that there was something um, that I was doing online with uh, a purchase that just took me into, I can't even do the research for this right now. It's like a whole different language that you want me to know about what the specifications are and how this system works with that system. And I just finally quit and gave up and, you know, laid down. And sometimes I would take a nap, but today it was just, okay, let me chant and let me see if I can get back to that sensation in my body of being connected with that wholeness that I felt this morning. And some of it's come back. You know, some of it's here. And I can feel it moving in me as I'm speaking. And that makes me feel loved. It makes me feel nurtured. And that there's something beyond me, kind of a higher power grid that um, is the grace of a loving source that is always available to kind of reach in and go, shh, shh, slow down. Let it go for today. Shh. 
And maybe that's what I mean when I think about the archetype of the mystical parent, is that loving presence that will come and go, it's okay, sweetheart. You don't have to figure this out. If you will stop spinning for a minute, you'll realize that you're just tangled up in your own energy and nobody else is <laughs> expecting you to do all of the things that you're trying to sort through right now. So I hope when you get into your own spots of feeling that overwhelm of one foot in each world, wanting to be present in both, that you will also sense the grace of that one who comes in and goes, Shh, it's okay, let go. There's nothing more you have to do. So I'm glad I came. I'm glad I shared with you and I'll talk to you tomorrow.